Welcome to ANR 360. Carl Joseph here with you as I take you through people, places, and things in Antigua and Barbuda. Uh, today's a very special episode as uh, the members of the Antigua and Barbuda for Persons with Disabilities Association. Uh, they launched their We Care initiative. Uh, Bernard Warner heads that association, and uh, we went to the home of Sharon Walters. She's an amputee, and she lives in a squalor. Uh, let's just call it what it is. That place isn't fit for any human being to live in, and yet that's where she resides. That's where she calls home. The initiative seeks to bring awareness to uh, persons living in such dire conditions and to see if we can bring them out of said condition. Uh, so today, listen closely as the members describe their own plight. Here's Bernard. Here are the members of the association as they talk about their We Care initiative. We are here lobbying for persons who are living with disabilities. Um, their living condition is dire, as you can see. We are here to gen ask the general public, the government, the opposition, anybody that's willing to help so that Sharon can get her help with her home. Uh, so I, as you can see, it's real, you know, because there are too many persons who are living in Antigua, who are living with disabilities, who are living in a situation that it's not conducive to, to them, because who wants to live like that? You know, because I, I can say first and because I did a raffle for myself. We am trying to help myself to my kitchen when it rains, it floods all the time. My veranda is basically separating from my house. Okay. <laughs> you know, so we're just here lobbying for help for persons who are living with disabilities to fix their homes and we're calling on everyone to lend a hand to the situation. Bernard started with this gentleman from Yorks where they're now building a home for him where an anonymous donor donated I think it's over eight thousand dollars to help with his home and it has reached real far I think Bernard will expand upon that but we have started with the gentleman in Yorks and now we are here with Sharon to see how we can help Sharon because Sharon needs that help she really needs that yeah would hear me talking about the issue of person with disabilities and most of the time they always think it's Bernard alone so we care really bring together the foundation of the organization and to really break the silence in terms of people are not saying something or doing something about our, our, our people. And I said, look, the, the disabled community themselves has to get involved in ensuring that their brothers and their sisters are healthy and thinking about it. So we had a large week here and onwards we're going to be campaigning to the, the, the other homes mm -hmm. to show the public that we as a disability community are behind our brothers and our sisters. Basically the program is an advocacy program. It's one that geared towards raising awareness. And the awareness is to showcase the things that we are, we are talking about. And out of that, we're going to be looking at fundraisers. We're going to be looking at, as Wendy said, fundraisers which ask the people to donate material, to donate, to donate finance, to donate their time. To come and help in the rebuilding the paint mm -hmm. and this is what we're doing we're launching that type of initiative we're talking about a, a quick response like a house burn down mm -hmm. and in the next three four weeks government is donating millions of dollars or thousands of dollars to help these people we are saying today that we can't wait on a six months pledge to fix Sharon house we need an immediate cabinet mm -hmm. decision to release funds to ensure that this house is fixed. Is it really in a bad condition? Really, really bad. Mm. So the roof, as you can see the roof, you know, and the flooring and everything. 
exactly this is how the interior of Chevron Water House is her, her stove where she cook the bed where she sleep and as you can see the way the roof uh, where the way the way the roof is yes yes that's where she sleeps this is her bed that she sleeps on and uh, and you can imagine when it rain how this how this 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 roof is and you can look and see that the house in the back there is totally in a deplorable state i mean when you see something like this how can you not be upset how can you not want to argue or lobby more to say that these living condition is due to poverty to disability i mean people who are not financially able to repair their homes are falling i mean she's sleeping in here and the roof is caving in and when you see this this type of condition who can tell you not to say nothing and this is really a tragedy in Antigua and Barbuda and there's a lot lot more persons with disabilities who are living in these conditions and these conditions are the conditions that 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 push the Antigua and Barbuda Disability Association to continue to lobby and continue to express our dissatisfaction with um, society to not come forward and aid in assisting of these people lives it's just a tragedy it's a human crisis i mean this is deplorable i'm extremely peeved about what i'm seeing here today and i'm happy that you know carl you're here um to see to understand and to help us in driving this message forward because we, we i mean it, it, this will cave in and eliminate on her and then we're going to say if we did no we care is taking initiative to expose and to inform the public more about the challenges that people with disability are facing and this is no fairy tale this is real real life situation here in antique and barbuda